Would you imagine if you just put your face to this now to see if anybody was in there? And then there was some way that the infected could run to the glass, crack it, and then just slap their hand on it and slowly, like, drag it down. But they can't get out. <laughs> it would be so good. Probably something like that in the works, to be honest. But, guys, welcome back to some more Miss Survival. So, today, I wanted to mess around a little bit. Now, what I mean by that is I've been getting a few people letting me know, like, certain things have improved and... When we played around with the console last time, which is effectively like a little cheat menu where you can see things either being developed to be added to the game or maybe things that were tested at one point. If you haven't seen it, you will today. But what I want to mess around with is the vehicles because I want to see if that is a little bit better than it was. I am very interested in that. And I've asked myself a question for the longest time now. And I thought, why not just try it? Seeing as though you've got the power to do that with this thing. I want to know what hordes would look like in Mist. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> I want to know what hordes would look like. My PC is probably not going to thank me for this, but we're going to do some testing today and have a little bit of fun. So first things first, I know there's a little trailer down here and I've been... Oh, there's a bear right there. Of course there is. <laughs> the one spot that I want to go to and the bear's just curled up right at the bottom down there. All right, let's try and... Let's try and get a little area here. Let's see. We got something that we can take that out with. Well, I know we do. So plus three times, bring this up. Weapons. I've had a little scan through this, by the way. The only thing I don't think I recognize is this, but I might be wrong. God, it's been a minute since I've used this. All right. So slot number one, and then we'll put that in slot number two. Slot one, we'll reload. Let's reload this up. And oh, I'm sorry, little bear. Look at him minding his own business. I'm so sorry. What? <laughs> wait, wait! There is no way that bears are not affected by grenades, or am I just not reaching it? Hold on. Drag that back on there. I think I might not be reaching it. Gotta get a little bit closer. Oh, that's right on it. What? What did you just do? He sat on the grenade. Oh, I'm so outraged. Hold on. I'm stressed as well. You guys are right. Things have changed. <laughs> He's tanked five grenades. All right, like, I guess three. They're the ones that have been close. That took him down. I was a little bit nervous then. Like, even with this. Wait, actually, can't we put... Yeah, can't we put, like, being immortal on? Let's just do that for now. Because while I'm in the middle of something, <laughs> if I get destroyed by something passing by... All right, let's see what we wanted to take a look at then. I can't believe that. Did you guys see that? I'm not joking either. Like, it actually rolled underneath, or at least the grenade looked like it did, and it just went... <laughs> just up and down. Right, so the first thing that I want to take a look at then is the ATV. So, let's have a look at this. How do we get that in again? ATV quad bike, this thing. And... How am I going to get that down? Have I got to... There we go. Ah, there we go. So, it's down... I'm going to have to fix this up as well, right? Okay, let's work on doing that. I don't know where the wheels are for this. Let's have a look, because these are the normal SUV ones. Let's just grab everything else. We'll need engine, battery, spark plug. I'll grab one of these just in case they fit. Oh, my God. Oh. You see, I'm always going to say it, but I just need to remind everyone the reason why I jumped that might not be loud for you guys. In fact, no, you know what? I'm going to keep it loud. I'm going to keep it loud this time because I want you guys to jump with me when that happens because <laughs> otherwise it like comes across as if I'm just doing it for the sake of jumping and I'm not. I promise you it's really loud. <laughs> okay, hold on. If we open this again, where would those... I think I know where one might be. It's in the, um, the shot or the, the gas uh, station that's down the road. Where would that be? Is it this? Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing else on there that shows shows a wheel. Hold on. It is that one. Yep, it's that one. Okay. Super lucky to have that there. Let's put that. On. I mean, we could always just switch to the SUV or the pickup, which I probably will as well. But I'm really interested to see how all the towing works and stuff because I would really, really love on our new series. I'd love it if we could just be on the road. I mean, I'd have probably make a base as well because of storage and things like that and farming and the npcs and stuff but i would really really love just to keep going on the road and 
whatever we find we can pick or pick and choose basically what we've got with something like this it's just it's so cool to have and i definitely can't put you on right wait there's a new system for this now isn't there let me see yeah like that and then you want to rotate it install no okay that doesn't work and can we just there we go <laughs> okay open this again and where was it this one one two three so four tires on what else is that asking for oh fuel okay i see that at the top but what's the engine like all tires are good oh 50 percent. okay so we don't need to do that so we just need fuel now so let's bring this up and could you imagine if you could mount this onto like the back of that tray oh you know what we should try that oh oh no no it's only fixed to the car isn't it yeah it's <laughs> it's only on the top of the uh the specific car that was in it i think anyway i mean we'll try it interact and fill gas can there we go we got one can't help myself i've got to have a little look what's in it and wait there we go fill gas can whoa whoa why are you out in the sunlight hmm also, quick side note, I do know I have like a fast run with this console thing, but I don't know how to turn it off, <laughs> so I'm not using it. We're back now anyway. It's no big deal. Okay, so let's put that in our hands and we'll fill tank. There we go. It's all lining up. I think that should 31% for 15.99 liters. I thought it would get way more than that. Okay, let's just drop that for a second. Is there anything... No, I don't see anything else you can attach to it. I was kind of hoping that we could put extra things in it, like modify it in some way, but maybe it's just the uh, the trailers for now. Okay, so start this thing up. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that sounds... It's got a little bit of throatiness to it. <laughs> and lights. Nice and bright, too. We'll keep them off. Wait, what? Oh, that's just for rear view, then. So in the SUV, you kind of get third person, but on the ATV, you don't. I wonder if that's anything to do with not being able to see the carry character whoa oh this is so weird oh okay it's a little bit delayed okay it's not too bad i'd really like it if i could see my hands on the um on the bars and stuff are we better off-road let's try this i mean this is where this thing will thrive right on the dirt on that uneven terrain yeah, it's definitely doing the trick. I don't know if it's any different off, though. You know what? We're going to keep going. I'm going to go to White House here. Because I know, or at least I remember there being another ATV around. Oh, careful now. Let's just scoot past this area. Oh, oh boy. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> Easy does it. I'm panicking because the, the bandits are to my right. <laughs> go. <laughs> Get over there. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm only a little bit concussed. <laughs> I've only cracked three vertebrae. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. This thing is actually really nice off-road. This seems to be like the one you want to have if you're in a bit of a pickle and the uh, the mist rolls in. Because it didn't look that fast on the tarmac, but then when you get into areas like this with <laughs> all the trees and everything... You really are moving. I mean, I guess you could do that with the SUV, but you don't want to risk flipping that thing. I'd rather lose this than the SUV. There we go. There's the other one. Right, let's park this up here. And engine off. It is kind of loud as well. Is this one good to use? I guess so. Hope oh, nothing's going to happen with that. So let's jump back on this then. And I'm going to have to... <laughs> You have to thread the needle a little bit here. There's only one speed that this has, and it's go. <laughs> Nothing else. It's just go. Reverse. Take it easy. No, no, no. That's it. There you go. Is it gonna... Okay, ready to dock. Right, let's just back it up a little bit. Engine off. And... Was it that? There we go. Okay, nice. That looks really good. I mean, it's a little bit off the ground. It's going to need to be a bit of tweaking for that, but that does look really, really good. And I don't know what you can store in this. Oh, you can bring the back down like that. Nice. 
Let's see if we can just pick something up and if it'll stay in it. Let's go in the house. I've not actually been in there for a minute. I love this place. It's kind of iconic at this point. I hope they never get rid of it. Make sure that there's no undead. Oh, look at this. You can see the light switches and stuff. I love that this has been added. I mean, the generator and stuff was great before, but, like, the whole invisible wire, it does break immersion a little bit. If you can do that and, like, plug things in and you have to watch what you're turning on or it's going to trip and things like that, I do like that a lot. What's that? Oh! Oh, that's real nice. <laughs> can you just add them all around? Oh, hello. Right, we'll put you... Like, you can guard the door for me for a second, okay? Can you imagine if I could just put that down and it blocked everything from getting in? You know what? There might be a chance of that. Let me just do that real quick. If we get a chance to cheese it while we're testing stuff, then I'm definitely going to do it. There you go. What should we call him? Frosty. That's what we'll call him. Frosty guarding the door. Can we move all this? Got a PC here. Throw that. I really hope you can break that down because that's taking up a lot of space. Yes, you can. Look at that. The blinds are down. Pull the blinds down. Don't let them see the lights. What else we got? Another one here. Can we see them? Where are you, you undead bastards? There they are. Don't you go over to that ATV. Close this. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to sleep. I think we're going to have a little bit of fun with the... Uh, the mist as well. Alongside trying to mess around with, like, what I'm saying are the hordes. <laughs> I say that very loosely, by the way, because I don't think it's going to act like that, but at least we can get an idea of what it might look like. So, rest. Let's do an hour. Just waiting for the sound to go. No? Okay, maybe one more hour then. I love this White House. I mean, you can do this on the top of buildings like you've seen me do before, but just knowing that you're pretty safe inside of here... I mean, until they can climb, if that is going to be a thing. Yeah, it's burning up. They're all cooking. Right. Let's see if you can go in the back of this. Will you sit down there and guard me? There we go. Look at him. Aw. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Right, let's see what you guys had on you. The reason why I'm doing stuff like this as well, whenever I jump back in, is just in case anything changes slightly, I'm going to be used to it, right? So if we jump into the series, it's not like a, a total shock that things have changed. If they have something new on them, or I'm supposed to be looking for a particular material or a component or something, that I can't find. Because things have changed a lot since I've been playing this. Yeah, they've not really got anything. Oh, some ammunition, though. Still can't help myself pick that up. Make sure you stay dead. <laughs> I'm just going to go up the road and back because I do want to test the SUV with that. See what that's like. I am sorry that I can't really go outside of this view. And I know it's it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of all over the place. But I'll try and do my best to keep the, uh, the mouse as still as possible to not make you guys dizzy, okay? <laughs> There's always so much I can do, though. Oh, yeah. This has definitely got speed, even with that trailer on it. Look at him. <laughs> just protecting me back there. Oh. I don't know why it does that. All of a sudden, it's like, it's rear-wheel drive. Oh, there's another one there. Could you imagine? Hold on. Do we make the human centipede of ATV trailers? Is that going to work? No, I really thought it was going to for a second, but that would be so cool. <laughs> or being able to find something... That you could add on to that. I don't know how much work that would be and how much of a pain in the ass, but it could be kind of cool. This is actually a really good spot for testing as well. Yeah, because I could jump up there and then spawn a load of them here while there's a pretty big open area. Okay, I might actually do that. I'm going to remember this spot. Let's try the SUV. Okay. So same thing again. Have we just got to drop it down? I don't know why it spawns in the air like that. Oh, yeah, this is real nice inside. Look at that. Can we... Lights on. Nice. Engine not found. So we've got to give this thing everything, then. I love that they've done this, by the way. 
like making sure you have to refix everything. I know it's very, very, very basic for getting a vehicle going, but it's still cool, though, having to find everything. All right, so we need all the things. And I have an engine, a battery, a spark plug, so we can start with that. Ten minutes. No big deal. Watch the mist roll in now, guys, while I'm trying to test this. You know it's going to happen. Ooh. That's, like, perfectly snug. Okay. Carry and install. 45 minutes. Oh. Okay, that's just the weather change. See, I'm still getting nervous, even though I've got, like, <laughs> mist powers. And number four. There we go. So, is she good to go now? She's going to need some fuel, but other than that, I think she's all ready. This is actually really... It's actually too nice. Oh, you see, I say that. It has got, like, a little bit of wear on it. A little bit of dirt here and there. Maybe it was parked up, or maybe you're going to find these in things like them over there. The garages or the sheds or something. Just tucked away. People's pride and joys from another life. All right, let's grab the uh, the can. Carry this, and we're going to siphon some fuel out of you for a second. Oh, no, we're going to leave Frosty. No, I'm not leaving him behind. Right, uh, fill the gas can. Give me this back. And um, we'll give you 5%. That should be enough. And can we fill tank? Well, then. <laughs> sure that door's going to love all that juice. <laughs> little things, guys. Little things are going to need tweaking here and there. Oh, my God. That's nowhere near. <laughs> all right. So, we got 26%. And what I was always trying to make a habit of doing is... Not that. It's picking this up. And throwing this into the back as well. Oh, another thing. If you are new to Mist and you're just starting off on your own adventures in the apocalypse, one thing that I would absolutely say for you guys to do, and it's in the game now, but it never used to be, and it was so, so painful. Make sure if you can find a car jack, you put one in the back of your vehicle. Believe me, guys, it will save you so much of a headache. And I'll show you guys what it looks like if you're not really sure what I'm talking about. If we go to... Where would it be under? It's going to be under weapons, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, this thing here. So, if we go and put that in the back, if we run into problems, I've always got that available so I can flip the vehicle back over. You guys have no idea how painful that is when it happens. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so, we'll grab Frosty then. We'll leave that here. Can I put you on the back seat? That would be amazing if I could do that. Hold on. Off, please. No. There's no way. Can I leave you on the top? It's not going to stay on there, is it? I mean, it, st it stayed there. This is the kind of testing that you guys signed up for today. All right. <laughs> we need to know if Frosty stays there. He's my new Wilson. Stop. Engine off. <gasps> he does stay there. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to find. There's more of these that you can find. I'm just going to load the top of my vehicle with Frosties everywhere and just freak out any survivors. <laughs> I am going to save real quick so we've always got this point to come back to because i've got a bit of a bad feeling about this and jump in and it still works oh look at him on the top oh he sits there really well as well like there's no weird movement about it so I'll put you Is that good now oh, let's get it right we're not savages it's not really made for something like this but the tow bar is a lot lower down but that works i guess Let's get out, and... Whoa. Wait, into... Did we do that before? I can't remember if we did that. I do like that, though. The idea of just, like, airing out your farts or something while we're in the apocalypse. Or, if you have friends, and they could essentially give you, like, bunker cover from the rear. <laughs> if you can reinforce this up. You guys know me by now. I'm sorry that I'm always giving, like, different ideas. It's just where my brain goes, and I just kind of <laughs> splurt it out loud with whatever comes to mind. Hitching. Wait, you are blocking your vehicle position. Well, how do I... There we go. Well, then. I've got to stop saying things. I always manifest stupid shit. All the time. I mean, we can see underneath, though. It needs welding. And it definitely looks like it doesn't. It's fresh welds on there. How am I going to fix this? 
I can't drive around the apocalypse with that. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Hold on. Get in there. Oh, it's fixed. Oh, okay. Nice. Right, let's put our lights on. There we go. And ooh, we'll take her for a spin. Is she... Oh, no. She's very, very, very stiff. <laughs> What's going on there? Why is there no flex in that line? Is that the way it's supposed to be? I can't imagine it is. Isn't there like a, a little bit of wiggle in that attachment? So... It doesn't snap with ease or like I've seen it like plenty of times on like motorways or if you're from across the pond highways and things like that But you get into like a fishtail and it's super hard to correct because this thing behind is just whipping you around but Let's see what she can get up to Oh wait a minute what did Ooh Is that that's got to be kilometers right in the lower right corner there Slam on the brakes. And I wonder if that changes when we put anything in the back of this. I can't believe Frosty's just still on the top of it, by the way. <laughs> Look at him. Living his best life. Let's go around here. I mean, it's working, though, you know? It is working. It doesn't look right like this business here. <laughs> it doesn't look right. And we definitely need some kind of body. I don't know what's going on there. A vampire or something, but... You can see it's coming along, and this is what I was saying in the previous episode. There's so much potential for this. Even though it's super ambitious, they're doing such a good job. I still believe it's one full-time developer, and then, oh, I didn't see you. Oh, both of them. Careful, dear. I'm gonna get swallowed up by those things. Oh, no. <laughs> the worst possible place. <laughs> to roll your vehicle next to two seekers. All right, well, I guess I can show you guys what I was talking about. Can I put that on there? Two. Can I... Can I do it? Interact. Ah, there it is. 30 minutes. Oh, oh no, Frosty, look at him. And he's back. Oh, yeah. That's why I say have it, because when that happens, guys, oh, it's, it's pretty much over. Especially if you do that in front of them. And I definitely will. So, we're going to have to make it a habit of finding those things when we get a vehicle. Oh. Got a little bit spooky all of a sudden there. Oh, there we go. There's a car jack. So you can find one here. We'll pick that up. What is down there? kind of tradition on the channel at this point guys and one day one day something will reply here we go hello one day <laughs> and when it happens we're all gonna lose it <laughs> i promise we will it's over here oh little flannel shirt we'll take it propane tank definitely hold on to that can we just drop you down there. Wait. Like that. I do like that. It is a little bit weird, like, holding the hand out in front, but I do understand why it's been added. Just to make things easier to maneuver and place and stuff like that. It's up top. Ooh. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think's done that? I would say Seeker, but I don't really think they're in the habit of climbing into buildings like this, but <laughs> can't say that I sang around them too much. What else we got? Nothing. All these important documents. We knew that this outbreak would happen. The truth behind all of this. You know what? We're going to jump over here and we're going to go like this. Spin around. Put it right there. Look at that. Just my luck now. It will switch to a mist. No? We're good. Okay, perfect. Can we park over the shit? Oh, yeah. There we go. Back outside. The reason I wanted to bring this is purely because I do want to play around with the flamethrower a little bit, too. So we'll put you down here. We've got 10.9 in there. Fill propane. And transfer gas. That's what we want to do. 
Yeah, I don't really know what this episode is. We're just having fun exploring. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm sure you don't because I know a lot of people have said, like, you don't mind doing this type of stuff up until the uh, the series starts. But, yeah, I'm just kind of <laughs> playing around with stuff that we haven't seen yet. Do you know what I am going to do? I will be honest. In the previous episode, I was absolutely heartbroken when we couldn't have a look at the... Uh, the thing we discovered that looked like some kind of bandit base or something like that. And I want to know what it is. So, you know what? Because you guys have been showing a crazy amount of love lately on all the videos. Not just the missed one that we posted. But we're going to take a look at it. Okay? We're going to go and have a look. What are the weapons we got? I love this Glock, so I'm absolutely grabbing that. You know what? Let's put some attachments on the Glock. Let's get that. I really don't use the sights on pistols like ever. But for the cool factor... I'll throw that on too. I'm guessing there's no, no suppressor. I'm going to try all of these because if one of them fits, I'll be so happy. Can't imagine it will though. Okay, let's go to modify sights. Ah, there we go. A little reflex sight. Yeah, none of the suppressors work. Ooh, mag. Okay. Maybe like a little extended or something. And we got the flashlight. Okay, that works. What does this look like? Hold on a sec. Let me put you there. Oh, this thing is so cool. I love the way he holds it like that. Reload. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're so ready. I can't wait to find this as well. Let's see what speed we can get. Oh, no. This is only going to end one way. Oh, my. 140. I think that is kilometers an hour. I can't imagine that's 150 right now, but it feels like it. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow, 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 slow. I don't think we had a look at this. Let's have a little peek. Oh, did we have a look at this? I can't remember. We go through, like, different areas, and sometimes they blend together. Ooh. Some infected in there? Okay, I got a feeling that's got something to do with the story, but... couldn't help myself. I was going to say, we're going to leave it. We're not going to go in, but I couldn't help myself with that. It's too less infected to worry about. <laughs> right, so where are we going? That's where we were last time. And yeah, if we follow it, I guess that way, that's where we want to go. I'm going to try and find that spot where the, um, what looked like a massive bandit spot. Oh, it could have been a survivor camp. I don't know. I'll see if I can come across it again. This thing doesn't do half bad off-road. I definitely don't want to push it because look at the terrain here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Try and stay on the flat. A lot of you guys were commenting on the... Uh... Oh, no! No! No, Frosty, no! Are we dying? Oh, no. I broke my neck. Oh, I've definitely broke my neck. Oh, <laughs> can't get to the surface. Oh, wait, everything is backwards there. Get to the surface. All right, get over there. Oh, no. I break everything, guys. I do. It's just... It's, it's just a fact. It's every single time. I guess this is why we're doing it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, you hate to see it. You can't drain fuel out of these, right? I'm pretty sure that I've tried that before. Yeah. Nothing in these... Oh, you might have some. Oh, you do. Interact and fill gas can. It's the only thing, like, even though we're using all this, I don't know how to get that gas can with fuel in it. So <laughs> I have to go around and get this. Use. And, oh, I can't actually see it. I was trying to bring up my, uh, my vitals so I could see what we got. So hunger is there, thirst there. I mean, we'll eat that. I don't really know what, oh, the mist is coming in. Oh, boy. We're going to get caught out here. All right. You know what? We're battling through it. I am getting some fuel during the mist. We are veteran survivors at this point. It's going to be tough, but we'll be okay. I say that now. Watch how many of them there's going to be. Some paint there. You see, even with this, I don't know if we can use that on the vehicles if you get anything in you. Let's have a look. Oh, you do? Okay. I mean, that will do. We'll go out this way. Nope. Can't get under there. All right, we're going back this way. Oh, 
Yep, I knew that'd bring more in. I switch to a pistol. Oh, that's so, so satisfying. It's not loud either. Feels like it's got a built-in suppressor. I know it hasn't, but... What's in this? Some more ammunition. I'm gonna leave all that there. That laser's nice and bright, too. Up here. It's always worth checking stuff like this. There you go. A little bit of extra ammunition. I think that's 9 mil too. Yep. It's always worth checking these though because I have found things on these in the past. That deer there. Old habits die hard. Right behind the shoulder. That's, di that's dinner right there. Hello. Stop swinging away. Oh, wow, you tanked those shots. All right. Let's get back to the car. Even though I've still got all these tools available to me now, I can pretty much spawn in what I want. It's still nerve-wracking. Pistol away. And carry this. See, this would be really freaky. If you broke down, you just run out of fuel. <laughs> Having to top this up. I mean, you definitely wouldn't do this. While there's a mist, you just sit in your car or just take cover somewhere, but fill tank. Oh no. <laughs> the door's getting a drink again. I think you can just stop after. Wait, let me check that again. Fill tank. If it goes above nine, then maybe I do have to wait for a bit. No, it didn't. Okay, so drop you on the floor. Grab you. And fill the tank. I think we should be okay. We're not too far away from the area where I think we're supposed to be. Yeah. But. What we'll do is we'll pick both of you back up. Come on. Put you back in here. And equip that. Oh, no, I had that on. Yeah, let's get rid of you. See, I'm still playing it like I'm surviving. It's just old habits. I can't help myself. Do we want the trailer? I don't think there's a way I can get Frosty back, which breaks my heart a little bit. So there's the cabin that we went to, and then we crossed that. Is it down? Oh, it's there. Okay, I see it. Right, let's turn this around. Oh my... <laughs> just straight whipping it. You see that? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know how this is going to work. Let's turn my lights off. Engine off. Lay the fuel cap open. Super night, right? Weapons away. Walk up slowly. Let them know you're not a threat. If I get shot now, everybody dies. I'm not stopping until everybody's down. They're not exactly locked down either because of the mist. Maybe they don't need to because they've got that much firepower. Can I come in? Oh, it is a survivor camp. Look at this. There's vendors and stuff. Oh, I would have really loved to have seen it like locked down tight because the mist is there. You know, like everybody manning stations to to fight for theirs, for this. What have you got? Yeah, so it's just a straight-up trade system then. Okay. I'm guessing there's going to be more to... Look at that. That straight up looks like a hotel in the middle of, <laughs> of nowhere. What are you doing back there? What happens if I bring a weapon out? I'm not going to tempt fate. This does look good, though. I like this a lot. Oh, look at that. You can kind of cross the roofs and stuff. What's going on in here? Oh, I'm so scared. Food! Hey! Can I get up there? I want to know what you guys are doing back there. Can't really interact with him yet. Big boy looking after all the food. Nobody's going to try and steal that. We got Joyful Garden. Always wanted to read that. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a little pub or something. Shot of beef? Drink like a sag mast. I have no idea what that is. If I've just offended someone, then I apologize, okay? <laughs> Don't know what it is. Sausage. Trade. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can trade with you. What is that? I'm going to take that, and I'm going to give you some ammunition. 
Wait, the value of whatever that is is not worth the ammunition? Two bullets, and you won't trade for that? I mean, food is probably more valuable. Ah, oh, yeah. No, food is definitely more valuable. A couple of shotgun shells, too. Heal? I just need to know what this is. Right, back. And... It's grapes. Getting scammed in the apocalypse. Oh, look at that little animation, though. I don't know how fresh they're going to be. Oh, should I give you the chicken? I really, really do like this. The idea of it feeling more alive and how it would be. Look at this. Just randomly in the middle of nowhere. Just tucked under the stairs. A couple of candles. Don't want to use all the power of the generators and stuff. What, you blocking off? What's back there? Oh, I thought I was through. I bamboozled him. <laughs> kind of interested to get on top of the buildings now as well. Oh. Oh, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I need to know. I know I'm jumping ahead here, guys. I know. We'll still do everything in the series, but I definitely want to know what this is all about with the whole customization stuff. So we'll pull the vehicle in if they don't throw a grenade at me or something. Or if there's no, like, mines in front of their spot. Heard something to my right. Easy does it. Can I take it in? So these are the, the twins then? They're going to help me out? How do I go about... Oh. Interact the vehicle upgrades mechanic. Oh, yes! Oh. Wait, there's no way. So you are going to be able to have like custom stuff? Wait, wait, wait. Don't we have the ability to change some things, like the paint and stuff? Let me let me back out of there real quick. So what are you? Parts vendor. Bumper. Oh, you can actually... Oh. So the pickup has this right now. SUV, yeah, the, the SUV doesn't. The trailer, you can, like, mess stuff... Oh. So you are going to be able to, like, add things or armor up the trailers and things? So the pickup has these two right now. What else does it have? Roof rack. Oh, the pickup is so cool. Blue. You know what? I'm going to find the pickup. I know where to find one. The gas station where we were before. We can definitely... That's cool. <laughs> that looks straight out of a movie. Got a little bit of, like, kind of A-team stuff. Red racing stripe down the center. Oh, look at that. It's like a forged carbon. Some gray. I love the khaki green color. I really love this color. I like the blue, though, too. These are the things you need to pick out of the apocalypse, guys. Turret. Okay, so we can definitely add the turret. I think that's to the SUV, though, right? If it's been replaced with the other SUV, the one that looks like that. I had no idea this was all added. I mean, it's not complete yet, obviously, but can we... So you can just unlock both of them? Oh, that looks so good. Okay, we're on the move again. There is one more spot that I would like to take a look at before we mess around with taking a look at what the hordes might look like. So let's just stop here and see if we can get ourselves some revenge. Oh, I can see one. I don't know if you guys can quite see that. I'm going to keep things dead still. Underneath the tower, you see that movement? That's what charged us last time. So we're going in. Number one. We have the shotgun. We got the flamethrower. You know what I might do? I might just put this on. <laughs> this is what you need to kill those things. Reload it up. I'm only seeing one of them too. Right there. You see it? You see the claws of it? Can we hit that? Oh, just a little bit too high. Oh, come on. Come back to me, frames. Oh, it doesn't like this area. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. What's going on? Is it just this spot? I think it might be. Yep. <laughs> I think I've just found what's making this area really broken. Hold on. Let's see if we can... Oh, look at that. It was. There was a seeker hiding in a box there. <laughs> And look how buttery smooth everything is again. All right, well, I got my revenge. Actually, no, not quite. Because I've just realized, look what's here. We're getting rid of this. 
Yeah, they've been feeding. Dragging poor people inside. Burn! Oh! What do we get? Oh, nice. Okay, we can replenish what we used. Can I throw you onto? Quip. 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 Some areas back there on the left. Any sign of infected. It's definitely dark enough. Ooh. Oh, there's all different ways in this spot. There's a trailer over there, too. Or a, uh, a little caravan. Actually, no. Turn you off so I can... Thought I'd just seen something in that window there. I did. Use the vehicle. Ooh. Oh, I love this shotgun. I love when there's a lot of them like that too. It really gives you that feeling of stumbling across like potentially five, six, seven, even like a mini horde of like ten or something. Any more? Yep, we got one more there. So it's two shots to the head. There's a fair amount of them down here. So is this what you can get it looking like then? A little sofa? Is that... Is that new? I think that might be new. Some jeans on. Little bed. And just some... Some little storage or furniture in there. I haven't really played around with that either. There's still more. I'd love to see more of this as well. I really would. Like, just out in the open world, I've just been able to stumble across a lot more of them. I mean, they don't really have to do anything. Yeah, they don't really have to have anything on them, just examples of people that tried to make it out the area and just didn't. I think it'd make it a lot more spooky, you know? Around this way. Did they get stuck against that? Oh, they ran that way. What else we got? If we smoke them out? Get out of there. Oh. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Burn up. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Yes. Can you get past this? Oh, this is going to be bad. Brace yourselves, guys. We're good. Oh, we've just run out of the uh, <coughs> flamethrower, too. Oh, what is that? The glob has just completely consumed this tunnel. More shotgun shells. Molotov. Got like military vehicles there as well. Just got caught up in all this mess. I hate the fact that it pulsates like that. <laughs> it's so gross. Right, what are we got in here? Anything we can use? We've got an axe and stuff. We're we gonna roll here. No, we're good. Whip it round. Oh, that's too much whip! No! We're good. <laughs> I think. And I guess now, what I really want to do. What time is it? Let me have a quick look. Okay, it's two o'clock. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to that spot that we found earlier on. And I'll bring you guys back and we'll do a little bit of testing on spawning these things in. I really don't know how this is going to go. That's why I wanted to do it at the end. In case it just ruined everything. I had to start everything all over again. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I might be able to spawn like one or two in. I've definitely spawned two. I know that. But three, four, and five, I don't know if that really affects performance. So, <laughs> you may be watching a slideshow in about five minutes. Wait, can we get around there? Is that the deer we took out? Yep. All right. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, so let's do this in two parts then. We'll do daytime testing and nighttime testing. So here we go. If we go to this and spawn infinite, and we just click a bunch of times. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, good. We have the immortal thing on, I think. Let me check. Yeah, we're good. Oh, look at them. So they are stacking on top of each other. Oh, yeah, they're all burning up too. Oh, look at this. Could you imagine? 
I'm so surprised that this actually is an impacting performance. I really thought that would tank everything. Just like we saw back over where the Seekers were, but... And that was a lot of them as well. I mean, how many of them are here? There's got to be close to, what, 20, 30 there? It's a shame that they burn up so quick. I mean, I'm glad of it because <laughs> daylight is the ultimate protector. The sun is what you want to drag them out to. But, oh yeah, there you go. You can see it now. Oh, <laughs> look how many there are. And, and it's everything is still kind of smooth. Like, I'm not really being impacted by this. All right, I want to do it again. So, let me just click a whole bunch of times. I'm not going to stop clicking. I'm going to get slapped around a little bit. It might get loud, but... Oh, come on, keep clicking. Go, go, go. Come on. What do we do if we check infected? Okay, no, that doesn't do anything. And off. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit with the performance now. Oh, they're all bundled together there, though. No! I guess once they all burn up, we're going to see. And there we go. Like, things are slowly coming back, though, in terms of performance. That's a lot of them there, though. I clicked a bunch of times. Like, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any kind of horde system, but... Knowing that it could happen and it looked like this is terrifying. Because the only time you would ever see this because they burn up in daylight is at night time. And this really reminds me of Days Gone as well. Is anyone else getting that? Just picture this for a second. You're walking around at night time. You're desperate. You need food. You need gasoline. You need all the things. So you're going through every vehicle you can find. Then you turn around and you see a horde. Either size of these groups... Just walking down the road. Oh my god. Because we have seen that they are spread out in the mist. That's obviously when they're active. They do go inside buildings too. There's nothing to say that they couldn't do this. Like get together or they know strength in numbers or something like that. It would be absolutely terrifying. Okay, so now that we've done this, do we test it at night time? That looks so good as well, by the way. That really does look good. I think we're going to test it at night time. I do want to know if we get out the area, if it kind of despawns everything or if that's going to stay like that oh no it definitely does you can see them disappearing look at that that big mound of the undead just vanished and all of my frames have come back that's interesting i wonder if that's on purpose like that oh i can't really see but you guys are going to get the idea here we go open this back up and bring a load of them in you know what i'll do i'll oh oh they're still burning up a little bit maybe because the mist isn't around look at that though oh my god see there's not even a lot here that's just really a handful but this is what you could imagine you would see just walking along the highway and look at all of these oh you are so done oh my god okay stand still for a second look at that what i'm gonna do is stop it Oh, look at that. Back up, back up. Yep, yep, this is exactly what I had in mind. It definitely looks a little bit weird. And these guys are still stuck together, but look at that. The way they sprint to and the fact that they look so different than before. Oh my god. Yep, that would be horrific. You're just like looking at these cars like, okay, we can break this down. I can get a little bit of scrap. I can use that for my fence. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at how many of them. Break out the pistol. Move back. Oh, that's so cool. That's so, so cool. Come on, move back. I'm so surprised that this isn't absolutely destroying my frames. This is so much fun. I've got no more ammunition, right? Let's switch to this one. Yeah, this will do the trick. Ah, one of them got past. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a big chunk of them. Like there. <laughs> That's too much fun. Oh, yeah, some of them can tank. A little bit of damage. What else we got? I've run out of gas with that. I think what I might have to do is spawn a little bit more ammunition in. Reload you. Change that canister. Come on. Oh yeah. That's the way you take down a horde if there ever is one. 
Yeah, they're stacking a little bit here, but... Oh my god! That was a lot more than I thought there was. Looks so good, though. I know it's still kind of hard to see because it's at night time. We've only got a little bit of light, but you can make out just off the fires how many of them are here. Oh, I can... Oh, yeah. Look at that. You can just see all the heads and the bodies and stuff. <laughs> but you kind of get the idea. If they were taking refuge in there, like they're doing some other buildings, kind of like I Am Legend, where they just stood there going, <sighs> breathing heavily or something, that would be so scary to come across. Hold on, let me open this up. Oh, this Yep. There's always one. Close it now! Close it! Back up. See him burn up. Can we see him at the door now? See, this is the problem. I don't think I can turn this off. Okay, so I think the only ones that are left are the ones upstairs. Here we go. Torch him. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, when they do that, that's so scary. And the room is completely filled with undead. <laughs> so ridiculous. But so much fun. All right. <laughs> Let's close that. Don't worry about it. So, I guess to answer the question, what would hordes look like in mist? They would look fucking terrifying. <laughs> It's the straight up answer. If it's anything like what we experienced at nighttime just then, they would be horrific. But the honest truth is, I really don't know if they're ever coming to mist. I mean, I guess that's a bit of a clue that they've probably been tried or are going to be tried in the future. But either way, just a little bit of fun to play around with and see what it could look like, I guess. But if you did enjoy this, guys, drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.